Hi everyone, today I want to share a little bit about um, the writing of a problem statement and the analysis and the discussion and how all these things come together as one. Now usually we are required to write problem statement at the beginning and the result is usually from our literature review. And from the problem statement, we formulate research questions that we need to answer based on the problems that has been identified. And for each research questions, we can formulate uh, research objectives and that underpins our research. And the next thing is actually we need to think about data collection based on our research objectives. So when it comes to data collection, we need, we need to think of what kind of data do we need in order to answer our research objectives? Who has the data? Where can we get the data? And how to get the data? And the next thing is when we are able to collect the data, then we have to do the data analysis. And there are many data analysis tools out there depending on what kind of data you have and the purposes. The outcome of a data analysis would be the results and the results that we get must be able to help us to answer our research objectives and the research questions and therefore with the findings we are able to have a more extensive discussion about the problems about our findings and based on the literature that we have reviewed um, while we are formulating the problem statement. Here is a table that I always find it useful, especially if you are new to research. You can set up a table with your research objectives being listed out clearly. R all means research objective, uh, number one, number two, number three. And correspondingly, you need to think about what kind of data is needed in order to answer your research objective and think about who has the data and where can you get the data and how to get the data. And you have to think about the corresponding data analysis tools as well. After you've done this, then you have to think uh, from the results of the uh, data analysis, are you able to answer your research objective? So this is the big picture that you need to have at the very beginning. The common problems that I encounter with, uh, with some uh, masters or PhD students is that um, they, have, uh, they have no idea or maybe they were not clear about um, the whole process here. They might, formulate it, they might have formulated some research objectives, but um, when they come to think about it, um, they have no idea how to collect data, you know, what, kind, what kind of data is needed in order to answer their research objectives. And one of the common issues is the research objective is too broad and too general. This is just a short video to give you an overview of a research process. I did not mention um, the conceptual framework and the theoretical framework. And I think I'll leave it to uh, another video. And I hope you find this video useful. Please comment in the comment below. Um, and then I'd love to hear from you on any feedback. Thank you.